It starts with your relationship with the divine. Let me just pray right now just for our fear. In the scripture, it says fear is a spirit. If we take that analogy and apply it to our lives, it's like the Holy Spirit, the very spirit who birthed us. When God says, let there be light, that was spoken through the power of the Holy Spirit. And then it was created. If you and I speak, whatever we say creates, whether it's positive or negative. So I go to the scriptures and speak forth what God has already promised me. And God promised you and I that we would become sons and daughters of God. And with that relationship, we grow by gratitude, by praise, by thanksgiving. I want each of you to have these holy encounters. God is universal. God is light. God is love. And it's in this place right now, in this moment, wherever you are, the presence of angels are there to assist in a holy encounter for you. So Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives, in our homes, in the innermost of our being. Cause our heart to open in a greater capacity to experience you, the Divine Mother, the Divine Father. Cause my heart to open to the renewal, to the invitation to be my spiritual father, my spiritual mother. Embrace me with your love, her love. Come, divine grace. Come, oneness of all. Come, fullness of time. May the peace that passes all understanding rest in you now. I cast out fear of your mind. I cast out fear of having not enough, and in its place, the bread of life, the giver of all that is, the holy breath, the holy breath, be conceived again in God's love. Let us become true lovers of God and each other.